Adrena, thank you. Right now, the Chicago lakefront is virtually shut down. Take a look, Chicago police. They were out yesterday, though, trying to break up groups of people. Yeah, got a social distance, right? This comes hours after Mayor Lori Lightfoot's warning about obeying the statewide stay-at-home order. CBS 2's Eric Cox is live at North Avenue Beach this morning. Eric? Good morning, Ryan and Aaron. Yes, in Chicago, police are actually still out here this morning right now, keeping watch along the lakefront here. Yet and still, we are still seeing several solo runners out here exercising. That's still a far cry from what you would have seen if you came out here yesterday. There were huge crowds here lured out along the lakefront by the warmer temperatures. Mayor Lori Lightfoot not liking what she saw here at all. So many people ignoring the statewide stay at home order. And do not let the warming weather let your guard slip. We will be forced to shut down our parks and the entire lakefront if people continue to flout these social distancing guidelines. Chicago police were posted all along the lakefront a little before 6 yesterday evening, shutting off access to runners, cyclists, walkers, really any and everyone out enjoying the favorable temps. The statewide stay at home order prohibits gatherings of more than 10 people and urges everyone to be socially distant when you are out, creating a space of at least six feet between you and other people. Something that the mayor says she didn't see happening along the lakefront yesterday. Officers say violating this order is considered a misdemeanor, meaning a fine of up to $500, and it can even elevate to an arrest if you continue to ignore it. And this statewide stay-at-home order will be in effect through April 7th. Mayor Lori Lightfoot expected to continue addressing her guidelines at 1 this afternoon. CBS2 will carry that live for you right here on air as well as online. Our website, cbschicago.com. For now, I'm Eric Cox reporting live at North Avenue Beach this morning, CBS2 News.